Zhuyan Qiyi of Beijing, China, is caring for a year-and-a-half-old orphan who is suffering from a life-threatening congenital heart defect. Gretel, as she calls herself, is 26 years old, unmarried, and up until now has never looked after a baby, or even changed a diaper. All that changed when she met Bao Xin. Bao Xin's lips and tongue, fingertips and toes, were almost purple from the lack of oxygen in his bloodstream. It took all his strength just to move. A healthy toddler of his age would already be learning to walk. Doctors in China were unable to perform a delicate operation to correct the blood flow through his heart, and Bao Xin's life was in danger. To commemorate the 18th anniversary of diplomatic ties between Israel and China, both countries agreed that Israeli doctors would come to perform crucial operations for 18 Chinese orphans, 17 of them in China, and Bao Xin, because of his grave condition, in Israel. The orphanage persuaded Gretel to be the child's escort on the trip. Now both of them are far from home, but they are far from alone. In March, the two arrived at the Edith Wolfson Medical Center in Holon, near Tel Aviv. There, surgeons from the Save a Child's Heart Organization, or SAC for short, repaired Bao Xin's heart. Since its inception in 1995, SAC has treated over 2,300 children from over 30 countries, as well as Palestinians from the Gaza Strip and the West Bank. She marvels about the Israeli Jews and Arabs, Palestinians, and international melange of peoples at the hospital. All the nurses and doctors here, they are really good at the kids. They know how to uh, treat them, and they treat them very well. They really care about them. The children, parents, and caretakers are housed together at the SAC Children's Home dormitories near the medical center. Both in the house and here, I think it's really amazing because you can see all the people from all the countries that are helping all the kids here and they are doing really, really great job here. They are working hard. Laura Kafif, house mother at the home, is responsible for taking care of the bustling community of parents, family and caretakers from their first steps in Israel until they return home. He's a very sweet boy, very friendly, very happy baby, likes to eat. If you have something in your hand, he's always putting his hand out to take it off you. Um, and he's very easygoing baby. He's, he's not a difficult baby, but if you've seen him before surgery, actually he's one of the children that you look at and see that he, he did obviously look sick. Unlike the Middle East strife outside, the adversary at this medical oasis is illness. And Gretel knew the most dangerous part of the battle for Bao Xin's heart still lay ahead. The day when he went to surgery, I was really nervous. SAC lead surgeon Dr. Lior Sasson and his team carefully opened Bao Xin's chest cavity and repaired his tiny heart in a complex six-hour operation called an atrial switch. Bao Xin was also suffering from dextrocardia, a condition where the heart sits reversed in the chest cavity, and had a hole between two lobes which allowed pulmonary and ventricular blood to mix. Cardiologist Dr. Akiva Tamir is part of the medical team that operated on Bao Xin. Dr. Sasson, uh, when he opened the heart, um, in the beginning he said maybe I cannot do it because uh, uh, the muscles were uh, very, very unusual. And then uh, he opened a little more and then he figured out how to fix it, and he fixed it very nicely. Dr. Tamir says Bao Xin is recovering well from the operation and that the prognosis is good. Tamir believes he won't need any more surgery, and Bao Xin will likely be able to go home within two months. Tamir is proud of what they do here and in China. The satisfaction you get from really helping somebody that if you weren't there would have died is, is ten times bigger than the satisfaction of treating somebody who, who could have his treatment uh, in a, another hospital 20 minutes away from you. So you know that uh, you really did something which is worth it. 
Gretel rarely left Baoshin's bedside since their arrival. The hospital staff came to call Gretel Mama China because of how lovingly she took care of him. She says the most emotional moment of her whole visit came as Bao Xin slowly awoke after the operation and opened his eyes. The most uh, emotional time for me here is when he's still dizzy. He's sleeping, but they stopped the medicine to keep him from a common situation, a calmer. And so he has a conscious, he has awareness, he aware that somebody is around him, but he's sleeping and I just came to him. When I touch him and sing for him, he's shedding his, his tears because he knows that I'm coming to him. Looking back, Gretel ponders how she's grown into her guardian role since she first met Bao Xin. I'm changing all the time because at first when I was at the house, because before I came here, I didn't get along with him for a long time. At first, she thought she'd only be responsible for feeding and keeping Bao Xin safe, and says she didn't feel an emotional connection. But later, we sleep at the same bed all the time, and every morning when he wake up, if he saw me, he will show his smell. When the time he went to surgery, I was shedding my tears. At that moment, I realized I'm a mom for him now. And I think it's awesome. It's really awesome to be a mom for him. But Gretel knows her role will end when they return to China after Bao Xin's recovery, and he returns to the orphanage. There, she knows that now that he's healed, a family may be more likely to adopt him. Everybody is asking me, will you adopt him? <laughs> like, will you? I said, if I can have, find a husband, I will adopt him. I will definitely, definitely keep this memory in my heart for my whole life. It's wonderful.